Hey guys, Buffett Game Bad today, bringing you another video for our weapon conversion series for Black Ops Cold War. And today we'll be covering the Colt Model 723, making that out of the M16. So this is heavily based on the M16A2. Colt dubbed this a shorter barrel variant here, the 723. So a lot of you may recognize this right off the bat as the weapon used by Gary Gordon, Medal of Honor recipient from Operation Serpent Spear. You also may remember from the movie Black Hawk Down. So Gary Gordon was one of the two snipers that was dropped on the second, requested to be dropped on the second crash site to defend it from the overwhelming number of enemy that were enclosing and ended up being killed in action there. So this is heavily based on his build that he was using, the Colt Model 723. And I'll show you some different variations here that we can utilize as well. So let's go ahead and we'll get right into it. If we go into the weapon here, what I'll go ahead and do now is we will remove all the attachments and we're going to start with the we'll remove all the attachments and we'll start with the base m16 here so if i go ahead and go to the m16 we're going to start with the optic so the optic here is nice uh, versus the m4 in modern warfare even with the carrying handle the blueprints that we have is that the optic mounts on top of the carrying handle which is uh, a nice attention to detail that we see here so go ahead and do this uh Vision Tech two times is an American made scope two times, very similar to what Delta operators were using in the late 80s and early 90s. So we'll go ahead and put that on. Now for the muzzle, we're gonna go ahead and do the silencer, just the, the base silencer, not the agency suppressor. I'm gonna go with the silencer just because of the overall cosmetic look. However, if you want the additional pros there, you can go ahead and get the vertical recoil reduction from the agency silencer as well. We're gonna go with the base silencer. Pros here is gonna be to increase our muzzle concealment by 100% as well keep us off the minimap and the cons here being the bullet velocity is going to be decreased by 15% so we'll go ahead and select that and now one thing to know here with the optic this is a two times I often make the mistake of thinking it's a four times optic or a three times optic. it looks it looks very similar to an Elcan, but the vision tech is actually a two times optic so just keep that in mind when you're selecting that that's going to be really personal preference Muzzle, we went over the silencer. Now for the barrel here, key attachment, we're gonna want the, go ahead and come down. We're gonna want the 15.9 Cavalier Lancer barrel. And you can see the other options here. We get that triangle handguard there for some of the M16A1 series, but we're gonna go ahead and want the Lancer. So this is gonna increase our vehicle damage by 250%. Now again, this is mainly only 100% for cosmetic purposes while I'm using this. So there's a heavy profile barrel. Essentially in game, it's meant to engage targets aka vehicles only however uh you will get better effects from some of these other bros you can also go with the 16.3 inch so in real life i believe the 723 was 14 and a half inches and the best we have here is a 15.9 but since you're going to be engaging imagery you probably want the 16.3 which will increase your fire rate the only con is the effective damage range is going to be reduced by 25 percent so at least you can increase your fire range and get it up closer to fully auto, which is a nice thing to see there. So just keep that in mind. However, I'm gonna go with this one just because of the measurement of the 15.9 versus 16.3. However, in the recoil control, I'll show them both off so you can see the difference in the rate of fire. So we'll go ahead and do the Cavalier Lancer. Go ahead and equip that. Now the body, we're gonna go ahead and want the Tiger Team Spotlight. So this is gonna reveal distance. Again, this is by 40%. It's basically a underbarrel flashlight here. The con is gonna be the sprint to fire speed. So we'll go ahead and select that. And now for the underbarrel, we're actually gonna skip this. These handguards, I don't believe had any room to put, to screw in the underbarrel attachment. And later models, I believe you had basically holes in the underbarrel here, which you can't see unfortunately on the model where you would put in a, a little piece and then connect the, think of it almost as like an under, you would screw in a rail underneath the handguard there and then put on the foregrip there. But again, we don't see that on this model. And I don't believe it was present on the 723s. Think of it very similar as what you were equipping the optic to to the carrying handle. It's basically a piece that screws into the top of the carrying handle, and then you mount the optic mount and then the optic on that mount. So very similar, except it would go on the bottom of the handguard. So that's why we're gonna skip it here, but again, personal preference, go ahead and select that. The magazine, we're actually gonna go with a 40 round magazine. Now again, this is mainly only for cosmetic purposes. This is gonna extend our ammunition from 30 to 45. Pros here are gonna be the magazine ammo capacity is increased by 50%, starting max ammo increased by 50%, and the ammo capacity overall increased by 50%. The cons are the reload quickness because we have a larger magazine. Now, if you know here, the base magazine is actually a 20 round stenag mag. 
So at base, this is a 30 round magazine, but it's, it's modeled after a 20 round magazine. So we're going to want to model it after the 30 round magazine. So we're going to have to put the 40 round magazine on the weapon. So we'll go ahead and select that. Now for the handle, I want to go ahead and skip this again. This is personal preference. There's nothing here that looks clean uh, to something like a Delta operator really would have been using in my opinion. Um, so we're going to go ahead and skip that. However, feel free to put on any of these other ones on here. I think anything that, that kind of blends in these tannish, these green and tannish ones don't look too bad, but we're going to go ahead and skip that again, just for cosmetic purposes. Now the stock key attachment here is we're going to want the SAS combat stock. So this is going to give us that almost that XM4 style butt stock there that we all know and love. So the pros here are going to be the shooting moving speed of 10% and a 78% increase to the aim walking movement speed. So. 10% increase to the shooting move speed, which I'm not honestly not really sure what that means. It's worded very, very odd there. Um, your movement, I guess, while you're shooting. And then 70%, 78% increase to the, your aim walking movement speed. So you're gonna move shooter while you're move faster while you're shooting and walk faster while you're aiming. Cons here are gonna be the hip fire accuracy of 15%. So we'll go ahead and select that. And that's our final design here for the Colt Model 73. Now, one thing here, if we look at the appearances here, camouflage, I would throw a camouflage on. I personally like one of these woodland ones here on this model to make it look almost uh, similar to something that Gary Gordon would be using. However, you can see the handguard itself is not covered at all with a camouflage. So that's that's kind of a, a downside here for me is the camo just looks odd there. If it's only covering the upper and lower receiver and the buttstock and not the, the handguard, the barrel or the suppressor or anything like that. So pretty strange. I think this is a bug. Hopefully they'll fix that. So the cameras look a little better on this weapon. I know it's not the case with a lot of the weapons like the AKs and stuff. So I think it's a bug. We'll have to wait and see, but that's the final design here for the Colt model seven, two, three, go ahead and jump a game here. And we'll take a look at the recoil patterns as well as, and now keep in mind here for the recoil patterns. The first one here, I'll be using uh, the recoil patterns and the inspect animation. I'll be using the Lancer barrel for the very first fire rate control here we'll do the recoil control take a look at the fire rate and then the second the second one i'll show here uh, when i fade into it is going to be the 6.3 inch titanium so keep in mind the barrel that we're using here is the lancer which is mainly made to in game to engage vehicles and inflict vehicle damage the second one here that i'll show um, is going to be the titanium which is going to increase your fire rate by 25 percent. so pay attention and just see the differences between those is going to increase your rate of fire definitely a good one to have if you're engaging infantry but again we only went with this one just because it's the shortest barrel really available with a cosmetic look that we wanted so overall this weapon really nice i think again it handles it in game very very well same as the m16 you just need to get your precision shots get your headshots and get that one shot kill it's actually not too bad up close if you can nail those shots and down your enemy right away um very interesting weapon fun to use for sure but again like i said the titanium barrel is going to be your go-to because you can increase your rate of fire and you will have a little bit less penalty, I would say, in close quarter situations. So it really depends on what you're trying to use this for. In the cases that I'm using it here, you really want to be engaging kind of an M16 type engagements at those medium to longer ranges and control those bursts. And then with a the titanium barrel, it's mainly made uh, to be a little bit more forgiving if you get in closer quarters with people and you can increase that rate of fire by, I believe it was 25% overall. So overall here, the again, the Colt Model 723, is basically a the same as the m16a2 however all the a lot of the uh it's a shorter barrel variant of the m16a2 um but colt had a whole program with different shorter barrel models applied there so when the m16a2 came out they decided with their short barrel variants of the weapon here to apply those changes of the a2 and then also with this the 723 later did end up turning into the xm4 program so here we'll go, go over the stats in real life, mainly here for the M4 for this weapon. But first for the, basically the M4 carbine was developed in the early 80s, as we can know it here in game as the XM4, which is full auto. Now with the 723, a lot of these models like the 733 and the 727 uh, were used with different receivers, different upper receivers, different uh, deflectors and everything like that. They're basically spare parts for whatever, whatever they could use to put these together. So some of them would be in select fire options only. So you'd have safety, burst and semi-auto and then other variants you would have full auto options with four sets fire. so it really just depends on depending on what parts were available and used for those particular rifles now here with the model 723 it's like i said it is colt incorporated all the changes for the m16a2 so some of those changes were 
that the reinforced lower receiver, case deflector, birdcage flash suppressor, things like that, the different twists of the barrel, uh, and the switch from the 55 grain M193 bullets to a 62 grain M855 round. So the M16A2, again, these changes applied to the shorter barrel variants here, the Colt model 723 is the M16A2 carbine, essentially, think of it as that. The iron sights here that we have here on the carrying handle are from the M16A1, and the case deflector is from the M16A2. The barrel had a one-seventh twist, but the inner profile of the M16A1 carbine barrel, um, again, using the M16A1, so here you see the mixing and matching of parts. Um, similar to the M16, like I said, the other models, like the 653, the 733, um, and it's 727. So the 723 was mainly used by Special Operations Forces. This was, again, produced by Colt in the United States military, made small purchases, mainly used within Delta. They said the United States Army Special Forces, Special Operations Forces, so Delta used these. Notably used by Delta from 1980s to the 90s when it was eventually 1994 and the XM4 finally became the, the M4 and it was officially adopted like that. So here, like I said, this is mainly built off of Gary Gordon's version that he uses in Operation, used in Operation Serpent Spear or the movie Black Hawk Down. Let me know what you guys think of this overall. Now, if you look at the M4, the M16, again, has been around, the M16A2 variant really has been around uh, for quite a long time as well. Now, the M4 came into official adopt adoption by the U.S. military in 1994. So that's why we see the XM4 here in the game too. Essentially, very similar. You can see when we, when we compare them here in game, I'll pick up two of them. Very, very similar looking weapons. Um, one is full auto, one is not, and then one has a carrying handle and one does not, which is, is true to real life. The Some of these, obviously, the later variants of the XM4 turning into the M4 typically didn't have carrying handles for some of the Colt Commando variants of those. So let me know down below what you guys think of this. Again, the 723, I believe, had a the same barrel length as the, as the M4s that we know at the 14 and a half inch barrel length, but let me know down below what you guys think of this. Again, the... The United States Army and Colt, they utilized many different variants of the M16s for these shorter barrel versions. Some of these being the, like the 720, which was really the start of the XM4 program. You got other ones here like the 727, the 733, 733A. There's a little bunch of different variations that Colt tested and used. And like I said here, the 727 most mainly adopted and used by Delta Forces, most notably here in Operation Service Spear in Mogadishu. So let me know what you guys think of this weapon overall. Leave your comments down below. Do you like this build? I wish it almost had, I wish this you had a full auto option for this, but I can understand why you don't since the XM4 is in the game. I just wish the XM4 had a carrying handle option here. I think that would be really interesting to see. But also, I think the camos are, are glitched there too, like I said. So let me know down below. Do you think that's a bug, or is that how they meant it to be, and no camouflage could be applied to the handguard or the barrel of the suppressor it just looks a little odd to me compared to something like the AK when we did the the AK 104 prototype there the camo looks really nice and neat on the whole weapon instead of uh excluding the handguard etc so let me know down below what you guys think of that what do you think of this weapon the Colt model 723 essentially one of the very earlier prototypes of the XM4 program which eventually turned into the M4 some of you there in Canada may know this as the C8 it essentially is where this program where the C8 started from was the 723. Um, so I know I have a lot of Canadian followers there that mentioned the, the C8 series of rifles there a lot in the comments. So this is definitely one that you'll be familiar with down there below. So let me know, let me know comments down below, and I'll leave you guys with that. This is the Colt Model 723, Buffner Gaming. Until next time, Buffner Gaming, out.